Hey, this is Elena with Black Sheep 303 Creative, and today's project is a really quick, really easy birthday card using Distress Oxide's stencil and the sophisticated script stamp sets from Concord and Ninth. So to start off with, I have a piece of 140 pound cold pressed watercolor paper that's cut to a little bit larger than an A2 size. And then I have this stencil called the Map Grid stencil from Hero Arts that I am taping down on top of that piece of watercolor paper with some low-tech painter's tape. And I do use my low-tech painter's tape over and over and over again. And I think it's a great, you can do that. It lasts for a really long time but I needed some new stuff for this project, so I had to break out the new stuff. Anyway, I've got a makeup sponge, and this is Cracked Pistachio, and I am basically just dabbing it on top of the stencil onto the watercolor paper. And then this is Broken China, and I'm going to go then to uh, Faded Jeans, and I'm using the same sponge because I don't care if the colors blend together. That's fine by me. And then my last color will be Wilted Violet, and I'm so I'm just dabbing it onto that watercolor through the stencil. And then I'll take a clean part of the sponge and add a little more cracked pistachio to kind of blend that out a little bit better because it's seeming very bright right now against the rest of the colors. And then I'm going to take my Distress Sprayer and spray this whole thing. I'm trying to get some pretty big droplets of water on top of this. Um, so I'm pulling the trigger down only like halfway to get those big drops and now I'm just drying it off and there you can see it really pulls off a lot of color and then I'm going to just remove the stencil and you'll see what we have and it actually gets a little bit uh, better looking as it dries but you can see this is a really quick really easy way to do a fun background and the colors look great and it was super easy to do and really fast probably took longer to dry than it did to actually make it now for my greeting, I'm going to be using the sophisticated script stamp sets from Concord and Ninth. There's an uppercase and a lowercase. And this is a really fun stamp set because if you like that like hand lettered look, but you don't have good handwriting like me, this lets you cheat. So you can make your own. So as you can see, you can spell any word that you want and you just have to kind of carefully line up and match the letters and even if you don't get it perfect you can fix it pretty easily with a copic marker or some kind of marker like i don't think anybody would ever know if you really you know if you get it a little bit off and you'll see i'm going to do that with the a and the y here and just fix it with a copic liner and then i will just go and fussy cut out these two words and that's going to become my greeting for this card so it's a very simple card and now I have an A2 size card base uh, cut from Rich Black Elizabeth Craft Design Soft Finish cardstock, and then I have trimmed down my stencil panel. And you can see the colors kind of gotten more vibrant as it dried, and it's gotten even more interesting looking. And there I have fussy cut out my two words, and then I used my Copic liner to kind of fill in any parts that didn't stamp real well or didn't connect perfectly. And you would never know, I think. And then I put a lot of foam tape on the back of it. And now I have a few sequins for extra, a little bit of sparkle at the end as well. So I did want to add that um, I was concerned because, you know, this is a very, there's lots of lines going on in this background. There's lots of straight lines, um, you know, diagonals, horizontals, verticals, you name it. And then my greeting is all like curvy, scripty lines. And so I was worried that it's kind of pattern on pattern, like it's not going to stand out well enough from the background. And as you can see here, as I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put my sequins, it's okay. Like actually close up, it, it looks pretty good. Um, but it, there is a little bit of sort of, I don't know, visual confusion happening, I think, between the happy birthday and the... Uh, background. So what I wound up doing was taking my micron pen, this is the 45, 0.45 millimeter, and just go, holding it straight up and down along the edge of that that word that's lifted up and then just tracing all the way around it. And now like on the bottom I've, kind of, I've filled it in and on the top of the birthday part it's still just the, the outline. So then I'm going to go along and fill it in with the micron pen very carefully to basically create kind of like a black shadow layer all the way around the words. Now, of course, if I had thought about it 
beforehand, it would have been easier to like cut a shadow layer around the words using black cardstock and I could have just stuck it down that way but I didn't think of it so I just wanted to show that like if you have this kind of thing happen to you there are ways that you can fix it now it was a little laser intensive yeah but it wasn't too bad I mean it was you know it wasn't that hard to do and I think in the end it really does make a big difference like I think the happy and the birthday really stand out better from the background as a result of that layer and I apologize for the mower in the background. Anyway, <laughs> so hopefully if you have that kind of thing happen to you, um, all is not lost. There are ways that you can fix things. So that was the reason I left that in there was hopefully to give you that little inspiration. And then those distressed oxides continue to amaze me. They're super easy to work with. And that stenciled background I think is really pretty and it took like no time at all. So if you haven't tried that yet, please do so. It's super easy. There are supplies linked in the video description and over on my blog. If you like the video, love it if you give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I really, really would love it if you would subscribe as well. You can also follow me on Instagram at blacksheep303. And leave me a comment because I love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day.